Chisel is hard. And you were on the grass. On your own as well. Like, I mean, you, did you have to call your partner to try and tell him? Um, well, after I start, stopped crying <laughs> and calmed down, and obviously the, the, the TV, everyone at Channel 4 said, listen, you have to go home. You need to deal with this. So I went home. I, I called up Ty, and I said, I um, have a brain tumor. And, you know, what, what do you say to something like that? You know, and I've got two three-year-old little boys, you know, and that was a whole other story, you know, and um, it was uh, it was a really difficult time for me. And uh, um, and then I, you know, it's so weird when, when something like this happens, everyone reacts differently, but I chose not to tell anyone. For my children, I just, I, I didn't, you know, I, I couldn't have the surgery right away because my body was a wreck from the jump. So um, I had to wait a month, and um, and I didn't I didn't tell anyone. I didn't want to tell my mom because she has two pacemakers, and you know, I, I just didn't. That's it's so funny because you know, before my children, trust me, I would have I would have played that victim card, you know, and I would have told everyone, probably even the press, you know, and. Um, but when you have children, the first thing that comes to your mind is, you know, I've got these two, three-year-old little boys, and, you know, I, I, I don't want to worry anyone. I just want to get through it. So I didn't tell anyone. Um, and I had the surgery. Um, Ty, my, my partner, dropped me off. And I just remember, you know, that night just praying to my dad because he's my guardian angel, and I just 